Welcome guys, welcome back to your journey YouTube channel once more. Yeah, I'm so good up here. We're gonna split today again. Today I will be dealing with um some astral projections. A little about astral projection, you know, and I'm gonna say we're gonna split so that kinda you know, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a little break between or whatever. But you see Baga Indian man is astral astral projection people. A lot of you, you know a lot of people have experienced astral projection before and never don't even realize it. You know, because we don't really know what it is and we think it is a big thing. And a lot of us experienced it before. We know a lot of Jamaicans experience astral projection a lot. And them ten values say, Dopey are all the dumb. Dopey, all the dumb. You know, Jamaican people call ghosts Dopey. And they say, if, if, you feel, if, if you experience astral projection, which is you wake up and your body limp, but your consciousness, your consciousness of your body, and you try to talk, you try to move, and you try to do all, all you, you try to move. You know, you try to control the physical, but the physical limp, now move, none at all. But you can't just know you're awake. And like you try to move, you try to call out, and nobody can, you know, it, like nothing not happen. And the physical literally go limp, the physical body, you know, but the astral body present. That's why all that wants. So we're going to explain everything now about that and dive deeper into it because I don't know if you're worried about You know, it's not deep and not worried about people. Demons can't, why demons, why demons don't want to hold it up now, still? Yeah? Why? Why want to hold it up? But demons, demons don't really got no much power in that realm here, you know? This is our realm, we are gods in this realm. Demons ain't got no power in this realm. We have the power in this realm, alright? You get to what I'm saying? So, listen up now. Our astral projection is when you, um, spirit, Essence, whatever you call it, the higher force, the higher being, is when the higher being leaves the body and actually experience the astral realms, you know. So your astral project when you dream, every time you dream is astral projection, the form of astral projection when you dream. And when you dream in a different realm, right? You know, in another realm, you're no more, you know. When you dream in a different realm, check it, my peeps. Check it, when you dream in another realm. When you dream you're going in another realm, you know, you experience your higher self, when you dream your consciousness literally raise the kind of start relaxed state that your higher self can actually take over the being and start doing what you want to do. You know, so you find say you can access astral prediction through meditation too because dreaming and meditation like uh, it's almost the same thing. Because your body goes into such a calm state that the higher self can actually start take over, you know. So in a dream, that's what happens. The higher self take over, takes over the body, takes over the whole reality, and starts to move up and down, start to explore the realm that exists in and all of that. And why am I not using it? Why well, we don't use the spirit realm because you know the term spirit realm is because the spirit realm is no different from the physical realm, you know. It's just a reflection of each other. So that's why I'm gonna say the higher being, the spirit, you know, the higher self is in another realm existing it, um experiencing itself, you know. It's not really the spirit realm or I will just term it that way. If you believe if you can just grasp the spirit realm, you know, who can grasp just the concept the concept of the spirit realm? Well, even that way the food. So I have still been at the spirit realm, which is the astral, right? Which is, which is the astral plane. So when the spirit is at the astral plane you now, sleep paralysis sleep paralysis matter about no abuse. So remember this video is about sleep paralysis and astral projection and astral projection. I mean, connect it to them. Because a lot of people think astral projection is actually demonic forces tampering with your body. And it's not. It's your higher self, like, listen, look at it like this. When your higher self, when you're in a dream state, your higher self um, 
in a control, right? Yet the physical body a dream, but you're still conscious, you're still a move around in a dream. So that, that proof to you say there's a higher self who travels in the astral realm. A realm separate from this. Well not separate from this, a realm that is not this, you know? So sometimes what happens, you know, why sleep, why sleep paralysis happens, sometimes what happens in that stage is that they, your physical body becomes conscious before the astral body returns to the spiritual body. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes so sometimes they are the astral and the physical body asleep, a race. And by the time, you know, the physical body wake up, the astral body not reach back yet. You understand what I said? The astral body don't connect back to the spiritual body as yet. Because, as I said, the astral dimension is kind of separate from the physical. There's two different dimensions there. But we exist in a multiple dimension. That's why we are multidimensional beings. We are multidimensional beings. Because we exist in a multiple dimensions at once. Time is an illusion. Time not exists. So, therefore, past and our present, the past and our future, no, it is. It's just one thing. Say, I yourself exist in the astral dimension, and sometimes you wake up and you try to move. The astral body not reach back here today. So that's what that goes to show you. Say, and the astral body really, and the energy field really cause this fear to move. You know, this can't move by itself because as you see with, with as you saw, as, as you have seen with sleep paralysis, if you have experienced it before. You realize that the physical body didn't have no use, it literally limp when you wake up. And you look around and you try, yo, you can try to call even your human side of you. Try to call even your sister. Try to call anybody in you know, the closest proximity to you. You can't call them not even here, you can't even call them home. That's how limp the physical body becomes in you know, this um, quote unquote sleep paralysis thing. The body just can't move, so that goes to show you that the spirit are really the astral being, the astral body really control the physical body because if the astral isn't present you go unconscious and the astral isn't present you go, you're dead I mean the astral body leaves leave the physical, the spirit, the astral spirit, whatever you want to call it the astral body leaves the spirit leave the physical and that's how you find say, people dead and leave but the physical body behind right? so that's just it, and when you understand life the way they, you know, it really and truly becomes, it makes more sense. It makes way more sense, you know. It makes way more sense. So that's exactly what I mean as sleep paralysis people. It's not a demon a hold on anybody. It's just the astral self, you know, the astral, and do it business, do what it needs to do, and then your physical body wake up. And it wake up before the astral body completely returns to it. So the astral body is still connected to the physical at all times, you know, but when you wake up now, you know, in a reach, in a connect back fully to you yet, so you literally can't really move. You're conscious of the being, but you're conscious of the reality, you're conscious of your room, you're conscious of the body, but you just can't move it, you know, you don't conscious of movement. You know, it's just a big, it's a whole thing, you know. And if you want more information on this, drop it in the comments and all of that. And We'll do only more videos. We'll do videos that explain more into it, you know, and all of that. So, one of the journey YouTube channel. Oh, that was helpful. Peace, love, like, comment, share, subscribe. One love, big up.